Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we are trying to explore a very nice library called PicWalker, right? So PicWalker or PyGWalker is a data visualization library that is similar to Tableau, right? That gives you the option of being able to explore your data in a very simple way, right? With drag and drop and stuff, as we already know about Tableau. But this is in Python and it's very, very useful. So let's see how to work with it. So in case you don't have it, you can just install it on the system with pick install PyGWorker. That is how to install it on the system. Then after installing it, it can work with pandas, polars, and the rest. So let's see an example. So I'm going to load my package and let's load our data set. So this is the data set we are using. So df.head. And then you can see this particular data set, right? So we can explore this data set in several ways to get more insight into it. Let's see how to use PyGWorker or PicWorker to help us with that. So first of all, I'm going to check the methods of it. So as I always do, the methods DRL, PyYG, Pick. Then you can see that we have the GWorker, we have the full specs. And the most important thing that you need is you need your worker. Work, right, so this is what we're using to do most of the things. There are other stuff, but this is the most important for now. So let's start with it. So to explore your data, to explore the data, right, it's just simply like this. So pick dot walk, and this walk takes in the data frame, right, and then it takes in some other parameters, right, and some other parameters. So you can explore those things by just going with my Question, question mark in case you are in pg pg dot walk and make it bigger so that you can see it's about this right if i go with walk you can see that we have the data frame right and then some other parameters right so the that 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 is the team that you want in case you want to return it as html you can also do that so let's see how to use it on our system so the data frame and then your other parameters so let's specify that i want my team to be say light team and then that is all if i run it it's going to analyze the data and then give us a very nice plotting feature which is this one which is very cool right so that is pi g worker or pick worker right so we have the data and by default it's going to give you the data it's going to analyze the data and then it gives you the data types right so the measure is quantitative that is the other the numbers so most of the time they are the quantitative and you also have the dimensions right which are usually the non numerical ones right so we have the quantitative like the index the age is also odd now it's automatically identified that this is odd now and this is nominal right very cool and very smart and you can scroll up so the entire table is there you can scroll like this to see the entire stuff which is very cool and you can also move on to the nest right right previous nest very very cool, right? It just looks the first 100, but you can move on to the next, and you can see that it's changing. Very cool. You can also switch it, right? In case you want to switch to a dimension, you can also change it, but let's keep it as measure. Perfect. That is the first aspect of exploring data. You can also click on the visualization, and by default, when you come back to the visualization, you can be able to visualize your data, right? So we have the S axis and then Y axis, and then we have the quantitative which was the same thing that we saw here those that were numbers like quantitative are already automatically brought down here and the remaining data data points are here right so let's start with the row count so i'm just going to plot the row count as my x axis right as my y axis right and then I, I can just plot something like let's say let's plus the sex and then it's only going to give us this particular data right so the number of females in a male this thing could have been done in case you're in python in previously you could have done it like this if i come back here i can just do the ss distribution could have been done it's like df then i'll just pass in the ss column right and i can just go back to value count if i go with this option instead of get the same thing and in case i wanted to plot this i could have plotted it with the same case i have math plot label or something i can just go with plot then the kind Let's go to bar, right? Right, so this is the same thing that has been plotted here, but automatically it gives you that plot out of the box. You can actually see the actual data by going back to this icon here, right? 
and then this is the different visualization types the different types of table you can have by default it will pick the best one which is a bar chart so you can have the bar chart which is here you can change it from bar chart to a line chart which is not informative for now you can change it to scatter you can change it to ds right so in case you want to see the data you just click on table and now you can see that this is the same thing that we had here right very cool so out of the box it gives you all of these things out of the box right so let's move from here from this to auto perfect okay that is one of the things you can also do multiple plots by just copying whatever you want to do so in case i want to check for the marital status which is this and the count i just drag it like tableau and tomorrow going to plot the distribution of the female male as well as the marital status here which is very cool right and you can click on it to see the image which is cool you can also do some other stuff right that is some very nice things i can also add more to it so in case i want to add the race to it i can also add the race and you can have multiple plots right and i can also change it from this option in case i want to give it change the color of this i can drag the let's say i want to drag the sex to the color and now it's going to give us two different colors right which is very very intuitive right so i can even take off this to take it off you just drag it back and now instead we have it here which is having the color and then the marital sources in the race very simple very cool well, that is a very nice feature that this particular library gives you it gives you the key here and everything is cool okay so let's say we want to also add some other stuff so let's say i want to add the occupation to it and i can have all of them here right but it's a lot of data i can change it i can uh, do some filtering for this entire stuff so in case i want to filter this stuff i can just go back again and then copy the occupation whatever i want to filter because these are the options we have filter we have color we have opacity we have size we have shape and we have the details right but in case i want to do some filtering i can just go back to this place copy it and then filter automatically give me all of this option and i can select i don't want armed forces i don't want farming text tech support machine ops take off the others right and once i go with this option i can click on confirm and it's going to automatically filter them and give us what is being filtered here right very cool for the occupation i'm just filtering these columns in case you also want to reduce the the size of the image right you can just go back to this icon uh, this icon here right if we go back here you can make it fist or auto so fist is going to fist the entire data set here right the image which is fist you can also change it from here to auto and in case you want to change the size you can just go back here and then change the size like this right so now i'm changing the size of the entire data set as you could see i can take off some of them so that it becomes more clearer take off this right you can actually change the size by clicking on this changing the width and the height you can also drag it right so let's take off all of this so let me take off this and let's make it simple so i'll just go with this then let's take off all of this yeah this is okay and i can drag it right okay you just take off the auto and you can copy and drag let me make it simple right so perfect there's also the option of auto uh, resizing the x and y are this so if i click on it so now it is being automatically resized right very cool and very nice you can also change the order so i can go with ascending order let's sorting it in descending order i can also sort it in ascending order which is very cool then let's move on from here to some other stuff you can also do so all of this we are doing is just aggregation i can change it from aggregation to something else right so perfect okay let's move on from here to some other stuff you can also do i can change the different plots let's move on to area charts and you can see that it's giving us an area chart you can change the plot to a scatter ch chart but for now there is no pie charts right there is arc but there is no pie chart as i wanted but it's very cool it's a very nice feature right so let's go back to auto perfect 
how do you export all of these things you have done so in case you want to export it how do you do that you just go back to here and export the image so you can export it as png and you can see that you get the image here right which you can use in your website or in your presentation you can also export it as sp uh, support vector graphics svg that is how to export it you can also click on it here and then save the image right as you wish okay the other option of, of exporting that you can also come back again to here right there to this option and you can do some configuration stuff for the entire plot you can export the entire code right which is behind the scene and then it's going to give you the option of some json which you can use to re-render the plot again so you can copy to clipboard you can export us you can cancel the nice thing is that it's going to give you the code here right that you have to run so if i go with export as code it's going to give me the option of exporting as code or export as a file it's automatically downloading it here as a json and then if i go down if i scroll down here right i can actually run it right so and i can also cancel Perfect. that is some very nice stuff about pi g worker of course there are a lot of things you can do with it but these are some of them in finally in case you also want to create a new chart you can click on new and can also add some more chat to it so it's not just only one chat you can also create multiple chats so i can put education and then i can also put let's say something here right which is not a good chat but yeah you get a point right so you can do more multiple chat so that is very cool and very nice right i can also change the color so let's go with this or i can also add this one rather right and you see that it's given us a different chat perfect so thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you have learned something so there are a lot of things you can do with this wonderful and nice library in case you want to change the team from this to a different team you can also do that you can just copy this one from here and then go back here and then let's say i want the light team or a dark team i can just go with dark and now it's going to render the entire stuff in a dark mode for us right so this is the dark mode right? and you can't see it better <laughs> right, and it's something interesting right you can see that it's working as expected right perfect so you can also change the team in case you want perfect so that is some nice thing you can do with this wonderful library you can also export it as html and then use it in your code sometime right so we remember that here we exported it as json if i go back to the exports not here but if i go to the exports i can export it as json right this file get this file in case i want to load this file back again i can go back again so let's reload it so i can go to load the json pick worker how do i do that i just go with pick worker right dot walk then i'll pass in my data right i'll pass in my data right and i'll pass in my after passing the data you need to pass in your configuration which is the spec right so spec then my configuration file the part which is conf dot json so you have to make sure that this file so i can just show in folder and then copy it and name it well right so here is it so this is the file right which i've named and it's in the same location right and now that is all so if i go with this i can also specify the dark let's go to say light and then it's going to give me the particular data that i, I have above right and you can now re get it back again right see that so i have gotten back again our plot that you want to plot and you can also continue from there that is something very nice and very cool with pick worker so thank you for watching see you in the next session and then stay blessed